a soft vanilla cake with Honeycrisp apples, the top buckles under the weight of a pecan and brown sugar topping. Honeycrisp apple plus cake plus streusel topping equals yummy. Enjoy this apple buckle with streusel topping. This is a great dessert for weekends at the cottage or for just a chilled, relaxed afternoon get together. Only five easy steps to make it. Best of all, you'll be able to make it. Let's do this together. Step one, let's begin by lining a 10 inch springform pan, tracing around on parchment paper, cutting it to size, greasing the pan and then the insert. Next, we're gonna turn the oven on to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Step two, much of the deliciousness of this recipe goes to Honeycrisp apples. Let's get them started next. Use three or four apples for the recipe, depending on size. We're gonna give them a rinse, then a peel, then cut the flesh away from the core, slice into quarter inch slices. Now over to stovetop, moderate heat, large skillet. When the skillet comes to temperature, we're adding one tablespoon of butter, then the sliced apples, toss them about for about two minutes, then we're sprinkling with a quarter cup of granulated sugar, Let's spice it up with a quarter teaspoon of ground ginger or cinnamon, you get to decide, then one teaspoon of lemon juice. We're gonna toss a little bit in the pan, cook until the apples get soft, then take them off the heat, leave them to cool. Now step three, let's make a streusel topping. Medium sized bowl, half a cup of unbleached all purpose flour, half a cup dark brown sugar, a quarter cup of rolled oats, half a teaspoon of kosher salt, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and then a pinch of nutmeg. We're gonna stir to combine. Then drop in four tablespoons of butter. We're gonna rub the butter into the other ingredients and then add half a cup of chopped pecans. Rub them in as well, nice and gently. The streusel topping is light and buttery and nutty. Step four, how about the buckle batter? Dry mix is easy, medium bowl with two cups of unbleached all-purpose flour plus two teaspoons baking powder and half a teaspoon kosher salt. Stir to combine, then set aside. Now pull up your stand mixer, paddle attachment, four tablespoons of butter go into the bowl, spin low speed, get the butter light and fluffy, then add three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar, process until combined. Next, we're adding two eggs, one at a time, both at room temperature, plus one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now, a bit of back and forth between the dry mix and one cup of whole milk. Start with the dry mix. Add a sprinkle, then add a little bit of milk, then we're gonna go back to the dry mix, then a little bit more milk, just go back and forth, making sure your last add-in is the dry mix. And just like that, your batter is done. Now we're gonna pop the bowl off the stand mixer, clean the paddle, grab the cooled apples, fold them into the batter, then spill the batter into the parchment prepared pan. Look at those slices of apple beauty. Now we add the streusel. Sprinkle the streusel topping onto the batter, trying to distribute it evenly. Final step is to bake. Transfer the apple buckle into the oven. Our bake time is 45 to 50 minutes. We're checking at 45. If the cake tester comes out clean, we are done. Place the buckle onto a wire rack and let it cool completely. I just realized there's actually six steps to the recipe and the sixth is probably the most important where we cut the cake and get to enjoy. Watch. Pop the ring, nudge it up and away, then slip a lifter underneath the parchment. The cake comes away perfectly from the base. We're cutting into 12 pieces which is a really nice yield on this recipe. Lifting a piece, you can see the apple slices within, transferring over to dessert plates, add a fork, and you're ready to enjoy. But wait, you know me, I wanna elevate the service of this awesome dessert, okay? So how about a simple dusting of icing sugar, 
then give me a minute or two to do some fresh whipped cream. Let's add a dollop of whipped cream to the side, add a sprinkle of cinnamon for good measure. And that's how we do apple buckle with streusel topping. You ready to make it? Perfect! Because the full recipe is up at weekendatthecottage.com. When you're visiting our website, please subscribe to it. Look for this video on our dedicated YouTube channel. You can subscribe to it as well. And then when you make a dessert this beautiful, we'd love you to take a picture of it. And then just post it on your favorite socials using hashtag Weekend at the Cottage on Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. Check it out as I dig in. The cake is so light. The sugar and pecan spice streusel is clinging to the top. Then the flavorful apple slices, a little surprise with every bite. This apple buckle with streusel topping is really something. Mm, yum. Mmm, mmm, delish. Mmm.